Hello friends, welcome to YouTube channel Electronics for You. Friends, in this video, I will talk about LVDT, that is Linear Variable Differential Transformer. The topics for today's videos are what is LVDT, construction, working principle, and working of LVDT, and later on why it is called as LVDT. I will explain it. Let's start with what is LVDT. So the full form for LVDT is linear variable differential transformer and its working is actually same as that of a transformer that's why it is known as the transformer here basically the working principle of a transformer is mutual induction principle which is covered later in this video lvdt is an electromechanical type inductive transducer that converts rectilinear displacement into electrical signal it means that lvdt is a device which converts the displacement into electrical signal the physical quantities such as force weight tensions pressure etc are first converted into displacement by a primary transducer and then lvdt can be used as a displacement to electrical signal generator hence we can say that lvdt is used as a secondary transducer if you want to measure force weight tension pressure etc let's see the construction of an lvdt actually the L lvdt looks like this this is actually the arm of the lvdt and the remaining portion is inside the LVDT. Let's see that what the LVDT is actually consisting of. So LVDT consists of one primary coil that is winding and two secondary coils. The primary winding is named here as P and secondary windings are S1 and S2 respectively. Both the secondary windings have equal number of turns. Note here that the secondary windings are having equal number of turns and they are placed on either side of the primary windings symmetrically. This is the diagram for the construction of the LVDT. Here you can see that it is having one primary coil. This is primary coil and this is secondary coils S1 and S2. It is actually placed in a cylindrical case therefore this windings are here shown in both side the lvdt is also consisting of one core here and this core can be move, move uh, this core is actually movable with the help of this arm the primary winding is connected to the ac source which produces the flux in the air gap and voltages are induced in the secondary winding here there is uh, the core this one is core and this iron core is placed inside the former and the arm is connected to the core here is the photo for the we can say that it is the cross-sectional view of the lvdt and you can see here that this core is there overall uh, stainless steel housing is provided for this winding this is our primary winding and it is uh, it is having secondary winding on both sides and are placed symmetrically away from the primary winding for some lvdt's electrical signal conditioning module is itself provided there the movable core is also laminated in order to reduce the eddy current loss and the displacement to be measured is attached to the movable soft iron the iron core is generally of high permeability which helps in reducing the harmonics and sensitivity of the lvdt now most important part of the construction is that the secondary winding are connected in such a way that the output the resulted output is the difference between the voltages of two windings that is if we say that uh, the voltage by uh, s1 is e1 and voltage produced by s2 is e2 
then overall output voltage V O will be equals to E1 minus E2 that is the difference between two voltages. Usually this AC output is converted by a suitable electronic circuitry, circuitry. here you can see this circuitry to high level DC voltage or current that is more convenient to use. The LVDT is placed inside the stainless steel housing because it pro provides electrostatic and electromagnetic shielding over there. Now let's see the working principle of LVDT. As previously stated that the working principle of LVDT is uh, based on the mutual induction principle which is generally used in the transformer also. The EMF induced in one coil by the change of the current in the uh, other coil is called the mutually induced EMF. Now let's see what uh, how this mutually induced EMF is generated there. If this is a coil B and it is applied here with a voltage V and it is connected to resistance R. Now this resistance is variable. It means that if we want to change the current flowing through this coil B, we can vary this resistance. Here the change in resistance itself causes, causes the change in current and therefore change in current will result in the change in EMF and that is actually results in the change in the induction of the coil B and as coil B is placed near to the coil A there will be an induction e induced in the coil A also this is known as mutually in mutual induction here coil B is self excited whereas coil A is now mutually excited and therefore in this case the EMF uh, in the coil B will also induced in the coil A and therefore the change in B will also occur in the change in A. This is the working principle of a, an LVDT and it is known as mutual induction. Now this principle is used in the transformer also the only change is that instead of using this voltage V and a variable resistance R directly AC supply is applied because when we apply the AC signal over here the magnitude itself changes and mag change in magnitude will result in change in uh, EMF induced in coil A and therefore the flux link with the coil B will also change and therefore the EMF induced in the coil B also changes and and uh, this principle itself is used in LVDT also. Now let's see the working of the LVDT. Here the second as previously stated the secondary winding are connected in such a way that the resulted output is the difference between the voltages of two windings. If V0 is the output and E1 and E2 are the EMF generated in secondary coil 1 and secondary coil 2 then output voltage is equals to E1 minus E2. Here we can say that if this is E1, this is the uh, this is actual schematic for the LVDT and here it is E2 and uh, output voltage is VO here. Therefore, net differential output voltage VO is equals to E1 minus E2. Now, let's see the working here. So, uh, actually there are three different cases. Case 1, when the core is at null position. It means that this core is placed at equal distance from S1 and S2. In this case, the EMF generated in S1 and S2 are equal and therefore we can say that the difference between E1 and E2 will be 0 and therefore the output voltage will be 0 in this case. This is case 1. Now let's see that what will happen if it is moved to the left side and moved toward the S1. So in this case EMF linked with the coil S1 will be more and therefore we can say that E1 is greater than E2 and therefore if we take 
e1 minus e2 then if as e1 is more we can say that the output voltage is positive in this case this is case 2 now let's see that what will happen if the core is moved toward the s2 so in this case the emf linked with the secondary coil s2 will be more and therefore we can say that e2 is greater than e1 and if e2 is greater than e1 then v o is equals to e1 minus e2 will be negative and this is these are the three different cases in case of working of the lvdt and therefore the output characteristics will look like this here it is for the positive voltages and here it is for the negative voltages. If we move toward the S1 then we will get graph like this and for S2 we will get graph like this. This is output characteristics for the AC supply. Similarly if DC LVDT is used that is another type of LVDT then we will get this here at null position zero output will be there toward S1 we will get output like this and in the exactly opposite direction that is we will get a negative voltage in the in this case just like this. Now let's move to the last portion of this why it is named as LVDT. Now after knowing the working of LVDT we know that LVDT is used for the linear displacement measurement that's why linear word is there. Then as it is a transformer and its working principle is also based on the transformer it has AC input and AC output therefore we can say that it is a transformer similarly it has movable core and fixed coils therefore variable word is used here and last one is differential because its output voltage is the difference between two secondary voltages that is E1 minus e2 and therefore differential word is there therefore it is linear variable differential transformer that is lvdt in next video i will explain types of lvdt advantages of lvdt disadvantages and applications of lvdt so keep watching thank you